Hey, this is Mikey Borup, and uh, I usually don't do videos with me on camera. Um, it's actually probably the first time I've done one for this channel, but I get a lot of questions about people wondering what my setup is. You know, what is my microphone? How am I recording these tutorials? What kind of computer am I using? So I thought I'd do a quick tour of my setup just to show everyone how I do it. So here's my computer. So what I have is, you can see an iMac with a secondary display. So I do all my tutorials on my iMac and you can see this is my nice mesquite desk and I got a little box here for some reason I don't know why Apple made these screens so they're not lined up the same with the iMac so I'm a little bit OCD about that so I had to prop it up and uh, so it would fit. Now as you can see I've got a Premiere project open here and then this display is where I do my After Effects tutorials. What I usually do, let's see if we can see this. I've got, it's kind of hard to see, but you can see I've got a menu bar up here and a menu bar up there. So what I do is I've got a program called Second Bar if you're on a Mac and it puts the menu bar on both screens. So that way on this screen, which is actually my secondary screen, I've switched this one to my primary one because I like it on the left. Um, this is my secondary screen, even though it's it's the iMac. It doesn't have the dock like that one does. But what I do is I switch the resolution of this screen to 1280 by 720. When I do a, re I switch the resolution of this screen usually to 1920 by 1080 because uh, it's really big right now and and then that way when I do the screen capture I can just capture the whole entire screen and it fits nicely into the finished video now as for my audio setup what I have here you can see this microphone this is an Audio Technica AT2035 let's take a look at that this is a condenser mic, runs on phantom power. It's on a nice little shock mount. Let me take that out. So this is what the microphone looks like. You can see AT2035. Now, this, I really do love this microphone. It's not very expensive. In fact, when I bought this microphone, I brought it into a studio and we did a side-by-side -side comparison with the $500 version of the Audio-Technica. This was not $500. And the guy running the studio had a hard time telling the difference between them. Like if he sat down and really listened to it on his nice uh, monitors and headphones, he could he could hear somewhat of a little bit of a difference in the mid-tone range. But other than that, he said they were pretty much exactly the same. So this microphone, which you can get for a lot less than $500, has been compared very favorably against the expensive $500 microphones. So I was pretty excited when I found this. I use a nice little popper stopper, and I've got this little mic stand that just sits on my desk. Now, <clears throat> for my headphones, let's see if we can take a look at these. These are the Sony's. These are the MDR7506. These are professional headphones, and they sound really nice. Now, you don't need to get professional headphones. You can find some other ones for around $30, $50 that will do the trick just nice. These ones um, have a very nice, clear sound and doesn't add a lot of you know, bass or anything to it. It's basically what you hear through these headphones is exactly what it sounds like. And then to capture everything, I have this little um, box right here. This is the Mackie Onyx Blackjack. I have been super impressed with this thing. First of all, it's built like a tank. You could run over this thing with a car and it wouldn't phase it. And it's it's got two inputs. It's phantom powered. And really that's all there is to it. What they, makes this so special is it's using the Onyx preamps that Mackie uses on their big, expensive, multi-thousand dollar boards. And they've placed it into this little tiny unit 
it's the exact same processing power, not power, but the exact same preamp power in these two little inputs. And then it just runs through USB right into the computer. So, and that's that's really my setup. Now, um, some of you say, well, do I need to get the box and the microphone? Well, no, that's how I chose to do it um, because I like having the XLR mics. But there is a version of, the, of this Audio-Technica that has a USB input. So you can go from USB right into the computer. I believe it's the 2020. I'm not 100% sure, but I will put a link of this in the description so you can go check them out yourself. Now the reason why I opted for this and this separate is we also use this right here when we do some live broadcasting and we hook up our lavalier, our wireless lavalier mics into this unit, which you can't do if I don't have it. So hope that answers any questions you have. If you have any more uh, questions about my setup and how I do my tutorials, feel free to ask. And uh, just post those in the comments. Also, again, like I said, I put links to all of these things down in the comments. Now, I will uh, be upfront with you. These are affiliate links um, to my affiliate account with Amazon. So if you do decide to buy them, I would appreciate it if you go through my link. That would be awesome um, just to help me out a little bit. But that's what it is. So I hope you enjoy this video. And again, any questions, feel free to ask. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, bye.